Signor Presidente della Repubblica. Mr. President of the Italian Republic, we are extremely grateful because you honor us with your presence. For the inauguration of this new premise of the Bocconi campus, it is a difficult moment for our country and for Europe, and you represent for us Italian citizens and European citizens a cornerstone. On behalf of the Chancellor Gian Mario Verona, the Managing Director, and myself, I would thank all the authorities, the kind, distinguished guests and the members of the Bocconi community. We feel you are close to us in a very significant moment for our university. I say our university not because I want to convey the idea that I possess this institution, but with a spirit of sharing this academic institution that belongs to Italy and to Europe. Bocconi gives its contribution, has always done so, and wants to continue doing that, looking far in time and space. The premise we inaugurate today, which was designed by the Sana architectural firm in Tokyo, and I would like to thank the architects that are here with us, complies with the state-of-the-art requirements of efficiency and sustainability. It hosts the SDA School of Management, the sports center that the community of Milan will be able to enjoy and a residence for students that is already operating. I would like to thank the president of the Lombardy region, Attilio Fontana, a key interlocutor in terms of university residences and in terms of services supporting the training activity. We would like to express our gratitude to the mayor of Milan, Giuseppe Sala, as well as its predecessors, Letizia Moratti and Giuliano Bisapia. Mayor Sala committed it himself to cooperate with Bocconi University. Since when we acquired in 2006 this area that between the 30s and 2005 hosted the municipal dairy center. For 75 years this was the place where a very important primary food produce was distributed and made available to all citizens of Milan. From now on, two generations of students and managers all over the world will receive education, which is the nourishment of knowledge, curiosity, critical thinking, sense of responsibility that are necessary to imagine and realize the development, the sustainable development of our countries, our societies and their collaboration. I would also like to thank all those who contributed to the creation of this work. The teamwork was complex and cosmopolitan. We had almost 2,500 individuals' involvement belonging to 47 different nationalities. Thank you, in Italian and in all their languages. Two individuals, two colleagues of ours from Bocconi University need our gratitude. Bruno Pavesi who more than anyone else wanted to have this premise of our campus, and Nicolò Di Blasi, who was competent and passionate about creating this place. I would now ask the mayor to join me for the uh, cutting of the red ribbon.
Mr. President of the Italian Republic, Mr. Chancellor of the University, ladies and gentlemen, the inauguration of the new Bocconi campus is more than just cutting a ribbon. It is the sign of pride and trust that Milan wants to give back to Italy as a whole. I would like to greet the President of the Italian Republic. Today, Mr. President, Milan shows you the pride and the energy that we want to make available to the whole country, for youth, for culture, to make the country more attractive. Simply what the world expects from Italy. I would like to greet and thank Gian Mario Verona, the Chancellor, the President, Mario Monti, the teaching staff, the Italian and foreign students. Opening a new premise of the Bocconi campus to give 2,400 places in classrooms and more than 2,000 places to stay, an auditorium, two swimming pools, the gyms to all students and to the city means building the future, an open future, a beautiful radiant future like this premise, a future that is made up of young people and greenery. This place is a place for students and it's environmentally sustainable. This is not just a slogan. Youth and green cannot just be underestimated as subject matters. This is not just decorations of strategies that are focused on other topics. This is true for cities and for countries as well. We need to be far-sighted. We need to look at the future even on these occasions. Young people and the ecological transition may be the guidelines to re build the Italian growth. The European Commission approved our financial law, but they specified that we are the last country in Europe in terms of economic growth and demographic growth. And even as far as uh, environmental policies are concerned, we are lagging behind. Too, much, too many cars, too much CO2 too many hydrogeological problems. This looks like the face of an old country, a tired country. Unfortunately, today, Italy is a little tired, but Italian, Italy can make it. I am speaking as a mayor of Milan, a city that refuses to be considered as a, an independent state, but who, which wants to put at the disposal of the country its experience. Meanwhile, we are going to carry forward. We don't want to be just the best in class for the sake of being that, but we are going to work without being too tired. This campus shows all the elements of the development of the city of Milan. This campus enhances the value of the area with the requalification of former industrial areas through investments and actions that are sustainable. This campus brings to this territory the cultures and the languages of the world. The campus makes the city grow because it creates a link between the center and the lower area of Milan in the area that it is immediately adjacent to the uh, main traffic road. This campus is very attractive and it's going to be the pride and joy of one of the best universities in Europe. It's a campus that increases the possibility to receive and host students. This is one of the aspects where Milan can do even more. And certainly this is one of my priorities from the area to the world with all the uh, levels of growth that are lit and operating at the same time. This is the way you make a city and a country grow. As a mayor and as an Italian citizen, I would like to share this will to make better for us and for our children and for the future generations. We can make it. This enthusiasm is the only possible premise for the other great challenge Milan is working on at the moment. 
the struggle, the fight against inequalities. Inequalities are fought by creating opportunities on the territory. For example, opportunities for study, for enterprise, for growth. Growth that helps those who are lagging behind. This has always been the Milan's masterclass. We cannot have a short blanket. We need to have a larger blanket so that we can increase the number of people that can be covered by that. We need to open campuses, we need to support those who want to attend them, those who do not have the means, but those who deserve to attend these campuses. Thank you very much, Mr. President, for being present here, because you understand the decisive elements between the development of the city of Milan and the country. Milan is there for a new country that is open, that is trusting and that is thinking about the future. Thank you very much.